Yo, what's up? Cecil West, Beyond the Harmony, with my right hand man, the one and only John Lippy. And the crowd goes wild. It is your bone question of the day. And today, I got a simple one. This may be the most simple question that I've asked so far, but it's going to divide the fans down the middle. Would you rather hear the thuggish ruggish or the harmony? And I've always said I am the most bitch-ass bone fan in the world. I, I would take the harmony all day over the thuggish ruggish. In fact, I wouldn't mind that they just became harmony. <laughs> That's it. I've been I've been asking for them to, to, to go harmony for years. And I thought they were going to do it. I thought I had them. I thought I had them, especially, you know, seeing the music video, Crazy Bone and Mariah Carey uh, from, from Thug Mentality 99, the one, uh, the Willy Wonka track. Um, so yeah. ha, da, 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 da. I was like, oh, yes, I'm getting what I want here. We're getting there. And all good. That was a very R&B-ish type track. Um, and it's not that I don't like the Thuggish Ruggish tracks. It's just that at this point, and, and I, I was even there 10 years ago. I was like, I have a, a very large collection of the Ruggish, Thuggish, Ruggish, uh, hardcore rap bone tracks. I'd like to have, I, I'd like to see Crazy Bone come out with an album called Anthony Henderson. <laughs> and, uh, and just have it be everything but rap. Uh, the only disappointment I had with New Waves was that it wasn't New Waves enough for me. I was going into it. I was thinking, oh, I think I might get, I think I might get what I've always been looking for, and it was almost there. But like, if the whole album was like bottle service, oh my goodness, that would have been beautiful. So yeah, uh, and that that you know when Lazy Bone did, uh, your love don't make no sense to me with with Levert, no sense. I, I was like, hey, how come Lazy Bone just has that 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 quick beginning? I, you know, why didn't he get a whole a whole verse? But um, yeah, that's why I said TQ, Mariah Carey. Anytime they do tracks with those guys but or and girls, that's what I want. I want the harmony only because I got my fill. I have my fill. I'm a I'm a big 39 year old. I, I'm will I'm ready for the next the next uh, exploration by Bone. It, it's hilarious to me. I I remember days back you picking like creeping on a come up or Eternal as like your favorite album, and I, I think it was like. Creeping on a come up would be if it was longer, which was all thuggish eruption, <laughs> like almost no harmony on that shit whatsoever. Yeah, well, it's 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 my favorite album. I think the question at the time was, "What's your favorite album?" And I was like, "Well, creep," because I really don't know. Like the harmony was never fully realized, right? Whereas the thuggish ruggish was, and to this day, it's the the harmony part, just all the way harmony hasn't been fully realized. So I I, you know. I think you should you should make the playlist like the the ultimate harmony like album pick oh, yeah. like eighteen songs we we might we might have to make the ultimate harmony on and a, I, on and, a and I want to cli- I want to clarify too like I I really don't want R and B harmony I, but uh, like my favorite kind of song is one is Crazy Bones so hard to let go like that kind of, that that's what I mean when I say harmony or experimental like days of our lives like you you must like like days of our lives like yeah Bible. like see that that one like that's like too harmony like that's so yeah it's not really qualified that, that's I really don't want them to go R and B I want them to go just pure experimental so like tracks like murder uh, murder mo and mo murder from like when Crazy did mo murder on the mo thugs album I was like yes because it wasn't rap. It was something I had never experienced before. So I guess really, okay. when I when I say harmony, I don't necessarily mean R and B. Although I'm I'm not saying that I'm I don't mean that. I just mean anything but rap. So like straight insane. More, more I, I I was gonna say more more of that like I mean I you know, I hate to say it like this, but it's that that bone harmony. Like did did you ever hear them sing that? Uh, A hydro. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh hydro. God, yeah. 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 No, yeah. I love that too. I love that too. Like I wish. Like, the funny thing is, nobody says, "Hey, where's that song?" Because we see them; they're in a studio with microphones, right? <laughs> so that had to have been recorded. But where is that recording? Oh my God! I don't know. I want to hear it though. Yeah. I've only heard that, heard heard that, and heard like 
years later like busy and lazy sing it together and they and they sing it really like different compared to like the first time they sang it i, I don't like it as much but i still like it and, and, um, and when i say creeping that's what i when i when i say creeping on a come up i'm pretty sure that was recorded during that time period and that's what i'm thinking of is yeah. that is that vibe of them just you know guys sitting around a a, a, a trash can to, to keep themselves warm and just singing songs when I say creeping okay. on the come up, that's what I think about. I mean, that's not how the album is, but in my mind, that's what it is. And, you know, so that's the why intro that. Is, yeah. yeah, the intro, know, exactly. When, yeah, yeah, I wish the whole thing was like that. Now, the Mr. Ouija, not that I don't, you know, not not so much the, the subject matter, but just that one's too repetitive for me. I know a lot of people like that. Well, murder bomb, murder by me now. But that's like too repetitive. I like stuff that builds, like neighborhood slang, how that's a... It's got an orchestra kind of, and it builds. I like things that build and have music to it. And that's why, you know, when Romeo was talking about how Crazy Bone inherently understands music, I think that's what I've always been after. And I think that's why I say the harmony, because I want more of a, a musical experience than a rap experience. That's why I'm a, a lifetime Bone Thugs and Harmony fan, is because, you know, DJ Unique, his instrumentals build, they're not just loops. And they have multiple layers. And I noticed that the other day. I forgot what song I was listening to. But, oh, it was uh, it was Trey the Truth with Crazy Bone. When you have an instrumental that has multiple layers to the instrumental, that's that's kind of what that, that hypnotic, oral, celestial sound that I'm looking for. And, and Unique provided that. And there's been a couple other producers they work with that know how to get that that sound. And that's that's what I'm saying is I want... A full musical experience versus a hip hop rap experience. Yeah, I I mean that you know, that's what makes Bone unique. Um, and and I like how you kind of know the difference between like the Bone harmony and the R and B harmony, where they just straight R and B. Um, which I you know I like some of that as well. Uh, but but I do like that you kind of like like the difference between the full R&B and just like what's considered bone harmony. Uh, me, on the other hand, I just want Mac 10 sawed off eruptions. Got plenty of ammunition, ammunition, no missing. Listen, destruction. I'm busting. Cause I got to get away. Bound to get away. Yo, that's all I want. Mac 10s oh, yeah. sawed off eruptions with plenty of ammunition. No missing. That's what I want. Uh, I, I, I love, and, and it's not, and, and it may even be what I guess people consider the first two, maybe three, maybe Art of War is in there too. But there's there's something about the thuggish, ruggish on Eternal. Creppin' We Came, Down 71, East 1999. There is something so fucking hardcore about that shit that I'm just like, dude... You, you can see why nobody wanted to fuck a bone back then. Because there, there was a lot of hard gangster shit, you know. There's a lot of hard gangster shit. Especially in that time period, 93, 94, 95, 96. That's hard gangster shit. But, like, dude, bone, bone is hard as fuck, bro. Like, <laughs> I, I you almost understand why nobody wanted to, like, get involved with bone. Because they were, like... A, Besides the Ouija shit, which I think also kind of made people say, just fuck these motherfuckers. Um, just just the pure, like, delivery of, of some of these lines is is, is is unheard of. I mean, it's like, I don't want to put, put them on, like, Pac level in that way, because cause I'm, not, I'm not trying to offend the Pac fans, but, like, the, the, the conviction behind some of the, the, the verses during that that thuggish ruggish era um is is fucking insane to me uh, yeah. i know a lot of people love like the i don't i don't know have you ever heard like the original down 71 like bef- yeah. not the eternal version yeah but it just didn't have the engineering i heard like a like it was like a, a cut or a pre-release like kind of sound yeah it's a different beat and shit and oh yeah uh, burn, 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 burn. yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's pretty different um but like I, I I love like even like the corny weapon sound effects in in that shit the the fucking court scene yeah <laughs> at, at the beginning oh man you shit the fuck. yeah oh bitch so, you get out here with your 
The uh, but now when I say harmony too, you know, Mr. Bill Collector would qualify as a harmony track to me. You know, so like it's not all the way bitch. So like Mr. Bill Collector, even um like Busy's uh, verse, I think on um, Crept and We Came, that's harmony to me. You know, so long as it's just not uh, so long as it's just not rap. You know, like I like. I mean, I like the rap songs. Look, I mean, obviously I do. But I'm just saying it's the originations. Anytime they break the rules, anytime they do something that's outside of the ordinary, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what I like. So, yeah. That's me. So, hey, have have fun with the answers, guys. The good news is if you answer this, nobody's going to come to your house and steal all the other Bone songs that, you, that uh, were on the other list. You're still going to be able to listen to everything. So have a little bit of fun with your answer. We just want to know, would you rather hear the thuggish ruggish or the harmony? I picked that thuggish eruption lippy pick that harmony let us know what you pick in the comments below don't forget like and subscribe beyond the harmony beyond the harmony.com share this with one of your favorite bone fans out there so they can answer too and we'll catch you guys next time beyond the harmony for the fans we celebrate